of Oh yeah. Testes. So we got this fucking Tinder cringe request from an anonymous Subscribestar donator at Subscribestar.com slash the Worst. If you drop me a donation, I too will go over whatever the hell you want, however cringy it may be. Jesus Christ. So this gives you an idea of like how unnavigatable, is that a word? Just how difficult it is to navigate dating these days. Look at Grace here, a renaissance woman, a mermaid. At 31, renaissance woman, a mermaid, probably too good for you. Why? Because you hang out at some fucking hipster dive bar. ACAB, fuck the patriarchy. It's like a lot of slogans and crap that she thinks sound cool, but she doesn't really understand the meaning of. Gonna grow a garden for my mom, pray to the ocean this summer. It's like a lot of Disney, like Facebook brainwashing with these women, you know. It's 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 kind of it's kind of that boilerplate. Um, we got twenty nine year old teacher, college profess, professor. Not interested in dating or effing with fascists. So if you don't stand for BLM, abolishing the police, equal distribution of community resources. Keep it moving. Wow, dude. So if you don't stand for it's basically... Oh, 420 friendly, because why not? Um, Jeez. This is how these women leverage their vajage in order to destroy society. <laughs> and this is how big tech Silicon Valley uh, outlets aid them in that endeavor. That's just how it's done, dude. Like <laughs> Via the Haley's of the world. She's English teacher. So she's like making, she's making the kids read like poor Blake's and poor, poor Jay's poor small hats kind of stuff. Like back when I was, you know, in seventh grade, wait, no, she's a college teacher, but probably the, 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 the point still stands. Even like college kids would probably rather I, when I was a kid in school, I would rather have read like pulpy fantasy novels and stuff like that, and f maybe some sci-fi novels and um, novelizations of various movies and stuff like that. But what they made us read was like poor Blakes and poor small hats, <laughs> you know. But that's this is how your teachers more than likely thought. It's it's interesting that Tinder of all things, like these dating profiles, are offering like sort of a window into what a lot of our teachers probably thought. Moving on to polyamorous and I live with my nesting partner. Oh my God. I'm currently looking for new connections to see where they grow. So new like, new lesions, <laughs> new abrasions and new warts. Uh, I'm shy at first and a huge chicken about, uh, wow. Shy and a chicken kind of conflicts with the whole polyamory nesting partner. Oh, Mary Lou, 35. Hmm. 
looking to casually date, not looking for a hookup, not looking for the love of my life, just looking for someone to have fun with and puts a smile on my face. Mostly work, slayed the way in 2020 to get a promotion in 2021. So far, it's really stressing me out. Uh, so it's like workaholics, like strong, independent woman don't need no man. Damn, this is like running the gamut of, yeah, pretty much all the types of Tinder cringe you could think of. And like every reason why men are checking out of relationships. BLM. You know? The police. That sort of thing. You can either have like a really aloof, far left psycho bitch who hates white people, or you can have like a workaholic. Or or a combination of both. No kids. <laughs> uh that's fucking horrendous, man. <laughs> Wait, hold on. There's more? I'm all about your dogs. You suck more. My best friend and her kids live with me. Anyone interested in me will have to get along with her. <laughs> Karaoke, sushi, brunch, Bloody Mary, Star Trek. So like Netflix, consumer, bug woman. Independent and confident looking for similar transgender demisexual. Incredibly busy with work right now. No hookups. What the fuck what kind of combination is that? Oh, great. Danielle, 35. It looks like maybe you have a good-looking face, but you have your face kip on like an obedient conformist. So we didn't, we don't even know if you're of the alphabet soup variety because you have this concealment on. So that's fun. <laughs> um, I mean... Makalakalakala, hiney, hiney, ho... Recently out of a long relationship, no hookups, just looking to meet new people in the area. Oh, okay, that sounds nice. But are you like a dude? That's a thing. Vanessa, 34, BLM, happy pride, all cops are bastards, no person is illegal, and water is life. That covers my firm beliefs basis. Uh, dude, those are just, again, those are slogans written by, like, billionaire banksters and fed to women. In particular, women. Usually swipple, like, bougie white women, but, or like, you know, women of a different tribe. But, it's, uh, <laughs> no person is illegal. I mean, that's been covered ad nauseum. People who commit crimes are illegal. But anyway... My name is Adam, they, them, professional pet trainer, certified animal behavior nerd, uh, bake, write, craft, it's like, witch people, like, gender ambiguous witch people are the new norm on these dating sites, <laughs> you know, how's a, how's a, you know, non-ADD, non-gender queer, like, white, Christian, vaguely conservative, or like even secular, vaguely conservative guy who doesn't like terrorist groups. Like, how are you supposed to fucking date these days? <laughs> I'm personally at a loss, you know? Like, I, I feel like, and anyone watching this can maybe chime in, like, I feel like if you're any of those things, you just, these days, you know, the incel tag, it kind of sticks, it kind of stings because. It's, it is more difficult for um, people like that these days to sort of function, I think, socially. Um, there's a lot of propaganda out there. Like, this will be the new normal. Talk about masks being the new normal. Like, this sort of stuff. Checking, checking boxes like this, dude. You know? That'll be the new normal. Amira. What is up, Amira? Oh, wait, that was out of order. Because this is the picture of the person I just was looking at. Okay, got it. Elizabeth. Emojis, emojis. It's like whatevs, you know. Becky Ann, full-time RN. Twin daughters are my everything. But you're also polyamorous and partnered. That is super-duper sketch, man. I gotta tell ya. <laughs> There's just nothing, dude. If you're just like a regular fucking John Q citizen, whatever that even is anymore, you know, 
Oh, exactly, D. Gulag. Wamen are broken. Chad Vosel in the house. That's what I'm talking about, dude. Quarantine is totally... I hate the misusage of the word quarantine, dude. I fucking hate that. We're not under quarantine. Quarantine doesn't mean you take, like, able-bodied, asymptomatic 20 and 30-somethings and make them stay at home and make them wear face kippas at the store. Quarantine would be taking people that are actually sick, right, and making them stay home. Everybody knows that. But anyway... This quarantine has totally reduced my chances of finding a girlfriend in real, so here's my desperate, lonely ass downloading this god Gorakin app. <laughs> Gorakin, like Gorillion. Larissa, hmm. Notre Dame alum, great. Women in college. Grad student, curatorial fellow at Brown University. BLM, anti cop. Land back. No ban on stolen land. That is so fucking convoluted and stupid. It's not stolen, conquered. Women just don't fundamentally understand power. They, they act like they do. They try to, and it's very cute when they do. You know, they, they act like it was stolen. No, I mean, there was treaties and wars and skirmishes, and it was long settled, dude. <laughs> like, it's not stolen. <laughs> it's not fucking stolen. Like, that's just ludicrous. Just absolutely fucking ludicrous. Okay, next. B. Pantifa Crusher. Is this like a troll account? DIY movies music. Oh, wow. Proud Trump supporter always. I will not accept Tyler or stand for the left-wing Democrat liberal anything. I'm old school, funny, entrepreneurial, and politically incorrect. Looking for a sane, grounded female to smash down Pantifa and make fun of liberals. <laughs> All right. Uh... 2017 based I guess must have thick skin and I don't mean fat chicks <laughs> looking for <laughs> looking for a sexy healthy and prefer preferably petite female only men who dress as women don't count as women have an awesome day okay okay wait that was two of the same thing Bailey is just chopped as fuck and is this a dude or like a chick who Oh, she, they, okay. Main goal in life is to have fun. I don't care what you're here for. I'm open to a lot of things. I'm not looking for anything specific. Dude, you sound like a freaking, like... Like, you sound like a freaking extremely aloof, just sociopath, drug addict. I don't know, like, hedonist, basically. <laughs> yeah. Fun, okay. Um, I don't want to be your unicorn. Wait, I think I already... Oh, got it. I'm not looking for anything specific. I just know I don't want to be your unicorn. Not really into cis men, but also it's too much work. Not sure if I could be poly because I never tried. Why is it always like all of that shit goes together? Like being trans, gay, being poly, being a kid toucher. Why, why, is, why is all that seemingly like intertwined? What up, Heather? Chaos coordinator. What the fuck does that mean? I mean, that just sounds like, you know, a Soros-paid agitator. Beach coffee, feminist liberal, BLM. Gross. Plus-sized. Healthy at any size. Not really. Hate to break it to you. You look like a McPoyle brother. <laughs> just straight up, you look like a fucking... Oh, man. Z loves Latin pop, salad, beer, dancing, and handstands. I do not love capitalism or misogyny. Like, who cares? Capitalists love you because you're a useful idiot for their bankster fucking interests. I spend most of my time teaching elementary school. Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. That is fucking horrible. I spend most of my time teaching elementary school, and I've gotten really good at rewriting something or other. Hmm. Likes bikes, dislikes late capitalism, loves people, work, family, and community. Dude, late capitalism is just all of these banks and firms funding all of these idiots' hashtag campaigns and all of their stupid little slogans that they're dutifully pasting into their, like, ad embedded 
dating profiles. Like, what the fuck? What the, what the fuck do they think they're a part of? Like, what do they think they're... What, what do these people think that they're enthusiastically a part of with a smile as they burn down the little guy's shops, or at least embolden Blake's to do that in Minneapolis and D.C. and Kenosha and elsewhere? Diana, director, clinical development at Pharmaceutical. Dude, you should be in the kitchen. Scientist, PhD, liberal, two spoiled dogs and a cat. Notice no kids. Music, punk, that's how you know. Okay, that kind of stuff corrupts people, corrupts their minds. City hiking, travel, current events, probably from the Young Turks or some crap like that. Independent, perpetually curious, sarcastic, uh, combative, like preemptively combative. That's what that means, dude. That means preemptively combative with men for like no reason. Laugh often, adventurous, thrive on change, challenge. Happy with myself, life, 5'11". Mmm, I kind of like that. Work in Boston. Mmm. You know. Let's see, what does this say? I don't think a relationship requires individuals to share an identity. Humans aren't property. Looking for something easy, I'll do what I want. You do the same. Does that include being, like, extremely, like, far right wing? I don't know, maybe... Probably not, though. <clears throat> As Lizzie will chime in and remind us. <laughs> Carol Ann, no eggs. Yes. Yes, yes, definitely true. Lizzie, 46, will remind us. F Trump. Smart, kind, witty. She forgot sarcastic. Sassy. Don't you just love that, guys, when a woman just tells you? I mean, that's one of the big fucking red flags. Like, sassy and sarcastic. You, like, again, they mean combative, right? For no reason other than just to prove a point. Right? Did lots of awesome shit when I was able to live my life. Okay, okay. Quasi-based. This seems, looks like an opening, like, this person could be quasi-based. Or, like, there could be an opening to red pill this person on the lockdowns. Grateful cancer survivor. Cool. Nature lover counts to go over theater. Liberal feminist cringe. 90s hip hop cringe. BLM cringe. No justice, no peace cringe. Oh, wow. That's a. That's a beak. BLM, ACAB. How trendy of you. I promise you I can fake it, but I do not like your dog. I'll only make pretend to like your dog smelling dogs, and I'm betting on this very true statement to rid me of the dog-obsessed... <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Coming out swinging against dogs? What the fuck? Betting on this very true statement to rid me of the dog-obsessed riffraff. I'm still mildly interested in the big fish you caught, though. Okay, so it's like a sarcastic dig at guys who take a picture... With their fishing. I'm more into theoretical conversation, racial justice, and thoughts on late stage capitalism. Ugh. Wait, is this the person? Wait. Ames? Wait. Oh. That's just, I mean, that lat, you know, that that is like the snobbiest fucking profile ever, dude. <laughs> I mean, just <clears throat> bar none. That is just the bougiest, most sheltered, most trust-funded vegan soy latte coffee shop fucking blurb you've ever seen. <laughs> Yo, what up, Amanda? Oh my God, Frankie, how art thou? Rigorously honest, non-monogamous, of course, radicals. Probably some, like, multi-gendered, multi-racial, genderqueer, polyamorous pod member. Oh, Jesus. Radical leftist, intensely lucky to love what I do for work, but wish capitalism could just not. I can definitely dance. So it's like... That, I don't know, I can read between the lines and infer so many fucking things, potentially. Like, this person probably works for some, like, 501c3 nonprofit to, like, go around telling whites and, like, men that they're horrible, you know, and that they don't give enough money to non-whites and women. <laughs> P 
pansapio bifluid gender bestiality co-op. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> exactly, dude. Uh, but, you know, basically, this person is just benefiting from late-stage capitalism, as they would call it. And they see other groups not benefiting from it. And they don't, I guess, I don't know. I don't know what these people's mentalities fully derive from other than just tons and tons and tons of brainwashing and just some level of opportunism. Because, I mean, if you fall in line with all this ACAB, BLM crap, you do get to be intensely lucky to love what you do for work. And you don't get deplatformed and you don't get fired from your job. You, you do get to work for some nonprofit and sit on your ass telling the plebs that they're fucking terrible because they're white, you know? It's, these are the kind of people we're working with. And, and, and again, you, you get a slice of this from just Tinder or, or like OkCupid. Okay you really do. Hannah, what do you got to say? Pisces, other music things. Okay, don't threaten me with a good time. Open relationship, ethical nog nog me, ACAB. It's always, I mean, it, it always just falls into the, under, under those lines, doesn't it? Like, why? <laughs> Looking for a warrior poet who's down for some Joe Bob Briggs marathons. Other things I dig, coffee, cats, socialists, BLM, road trips, breakfast foods, karaoke, football. You know, for, you know, it's difficult. It would be difficult to actually pull this off because I don't know where the hell this person is and if they, this person would be down. But, or the, these types of people, okay? I'd like to find a person like this and just film a quick little video and just ask them outright what specifically, like concretely, positive things have BLM done for anyone? Like any, <laughs> any living human organism, right? What up, Bianca Fights the Zombies? How you doing? Uh, but what the hell? What 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 has BLM done for anybody? They've trashed, they've burned cities and killed people and gotten people fired and terrorized people and like lied about people and taken tons and tons and tons and tons of money from rapaciously rich and powerful people. What have they, I mean, what have they done? Besides that, I, I mean, I'd like to ask Shayna... Whoever you are, wherever you are, I'd like to ask you that. Maria, lefty and lefty, wine enthusiast, world traveling, 40 plus countries counting, cool. Looking for a companion to hit up all the national parks and the school musical festivals with potential for a long term relationship. All right, sounding cool. Is that a dude though? That's the question, you know. Uh, Catherine, I posted some of my most awkward and recent photos to uh, give a true sense of who I am. I also hope. Frighten away sex perverts, Trump supporters, and white supremacists. Oh my god, you're going to attract, <laughs> like, arsonist, tri-gendered, multiracial, polyamorous sex fiends who want to genitally mutilate little boys and call it transgenderism. That's, I mean, you don't want sex perverts. I mean, you're going to get that times ten. Whoa. Kate, 33. Funeral director and balmer, and I love my job. How morbid. I just moved to Boston from California, looking for friends and maybe something more. I've never been married and have no kids. I'm the mother to a sweet, tiny, cross-eyed kitty, and she's the absolute best. Okay. <laughs> I'm wanting to explore the area and get more active. I work a lot, so I've been on the lazy side when I finally get free time. Also, bat coof from China, and not knowing anyone that lives out here is making things a lot harder. No wafeth or Trump please. Notice how none of these people have ever said uh, no pedos, right? No, uh, no thieves, right? No arsonists. None of these people have said that. Just no people who have cast their ballot for like the very, very, very liberal Republican 2016 and 2020 candidate or president. Then, well, yeah of the United States. It's crazy, dude. Ames, I think I looked at this person. Oh, right, the anti-dog person. Snob, okay. That's what this one of these two persons things, trust fund babies. 
Michelle, 29, UCLA, high school science teacher. I have two cats and I love them and I have no shame about it. Women's soccer and Harry Potter fanatic. Gross. This BLM always has to be tied into that crap. Allie, can I call you Ally? <laughs> From the looks of it, I can. Um, yeah. It's a lot of, like, swiping left, but maybe swiping right begrudgingly because you just know that hardly anybody of the female persuasion is not like this anymore. <laughs> right, Katie? What do you got to say? Nothing? Wait. Wait, what? Wait, 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 what? Wait, what? Are you the same person? Is this like before and after feminism? Bef like before and after Portland, Portlandia, or like River West? Those of you from Wisconsin, you know what I mean? What, what the fuck? Yeah, I mean, once you see these warning signs, you know to bolt. <sighs> Always hungry, moody, clumsy, bitch, cusser, anxious, lit, gross. My weight is none of your concern, unless I'm sitting on your face. Oh, wow, charming. Recent photos, one and three, glow. I mean, this is how, like, guys talk, right? Or at least they used to, because if you're a guy and you talk like that now, you get fucking killed, right? Um, indecisive. Animal Crossing, F. Donald Trump, BLM, ACAB, Masket or Casket. I've seen people... I mean, you know, they'll say like, yeah, we can go on an, on a few like introductory, you know, response, uh, COVID responsible dates where we both wore a mask and we socially distance. And it's like, that is a, a ridiculous level of, I mean, for, for those of us that know that COVID is just overblown, overhyped, politicized, opportunistic, corporatized crap, uh, we already know that that's like way more precautions than necessary. But in addition to that, I've been thinking, and just as a broader commentary on this whole Tinder hookup culture, I've never, you know, we've looked at like 30 to 50 or whatever profiles. Not a single one of these people has said, yeah, before we hook up, we're going to have to, or I'm going to have to ask you to get an STD test, for instance. Not one of them has said that. But I, I've said my, seen myself like, you better wear a mask. Our first few dates are going to be socially distanced and masked up. Yada, yada, yada. Never once have I seen someone on their dating profile say, yeah, you know what, before we hook up for the first time or before we even start dating, I want you to have like an S I want us to both have an STD screening. I've never once seen that. But yeah, hedonism, swipe left if you have children. This is like, what the fuck, man? This is just backwards, right? If you test positive for the coup, if you tested positive for communism... <laughs> What do y'all think, Durst? What do you mean? What What are you referring to specifically, Stephen? Uh, Renee says, "What is this person's gender or race? I don't even know. <laughs> like what? I... <sighs> it's all the same shit. BLM, anti-cop for no reason. Ethically polyamorous." No such thing. Uh, mostly interested in sh 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 hooking on. Da, da, da. Gross. Pansexual, genderqueer. Nikki, BLM. Hannah. What do you got to say? A cute weirdo looking for a dude with a beard, a dad bod, a sense of humor, and a healthy respect for women. So... Can I link it in chat or in Discord? Uh, you gotta pay me, dude. On on uh, what do you call it? Subscribestar.com slash Durst the Worst. BLM thirteen twelve etc etc. Witchcraft. Oh my god, dude. I hate loud chewing, capitalism, humidity. It's just it's so standard. Don't these people know that they're walking talking cliches? So she wants like she thinks she wants a bug man who hates himself for being a white male, but probably just likes to be a crotchety fucking fake, yeah. What's up, Ashley? How you doing? 
purple haired but not a purple people eater single mom oh joy practicing buddhist double joy law school 2022 hopeful gross she wants to be like the next hillary clinton selectarian but let's be honest mostly vegetarian feminist gross so she likes to be you know look at how like fake she is about the vegetarianism and then feminism it's like you know she wants to be like <laughs> you know uh uh 50 shades of grade let's just put it that way uh outdoor enthusiast skiing hiking bunning really yeah cool so she's in shape that's cool Respect, pack a mama, and treat her. Honestly, I don't know what that is, so I don't know how to retreat her well. Environmentalist, blah, blah, blah. Conversationalist, you will not have me at hello alone, trust me. BLM activist progressive, so you're brainwashed by Facebook, sponsored advertisements. If you're fond of GOP and that's not your initials, swipe left. I'm not fond of GOP, but probably not for reasons that you're thinking. Um, I'm not fond of the GOP because they failed to create a milieu, a culture where people like you are put in their place. <laughs> That's why I, ooh, carry. <sighs> Gorsh. Talk disability justice to me. No. Anarcho-communist, queer, crip, witch, bitch, they, she, crazy dog person. Your identity was fed to you by, like, beingliberal.com, okay? You're stupid. You are maybe a dude. You're one of these witch people, right? Black, Lives Matter, F Trump, F TERFs. TERFs are marginally less insane than regular feminists, I think. No borders, no walls. Okay, well... She's probably in a situation where she's not as apt to be mobbed by a pack of Somalian immigrants. So she probably does not care <laughs> if that happens to you. ACAB, instead of asking me how's it going because everything is shit, let's talk about wh what you're reading. Your favorite blah, blah, blah. Okay, I'm reading Tinder fucking cringe. Abolitionist, this page is political. Gross. It's just, it's just white guys. We need to figure out a way to pump white babies into white women. <laughs> we need to figure out how to do it. I, I don't, I just, like based white women, not, not these, not, okay. Not the white women displayed here necessarily. But wait, whoops. I just knocked something I gotta double check. Okay. Do, 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 do. Change your bio to Red Sox, Cats, Tacos, Pop Punk, Nerdy Things, Disney memes, No Kids, and Social Anxiety. So there's that. No Trump supporters. So she's basically like a Gainesville Fest goer. If any, if any of you are familiar with that. Stage experience, services, lead at Sephora. The world is going to end soon anyways. Live in Providence and work in Newport, ACAB, Antifa, BLM. Dude, the world is going to end because of these people. Are you stupid? It's fucking awesome to be shit. Yeah, you got that right. Obsessed with tacos and burritos. Dude, I'm obsessed lately with like homemade fried chicken and baked potatoes dude like i fry chicken in some coconut oil and just like blast it with some lowry's and then you're gone dude forget about it and uh yeah just throw a bunch of butter of course and uh same lowry's blast on the potatoes on the baked potato but these people want to stay I mean they want to take that away from me they want they want me to fucking stay at home in my pod and just like be forced to watch really stupid crap on Netflix I mean or like a Netflixified YouTube you know and they don't want me to be able to eat chicken and baked potato they want me to eat like mealworm soy burgers and cockroach shake to wash it down that's how fucking crazy these fucking people are Amanda 28 alright 
black transfer yeah. swipe left yeah I will gladly swipe left my friends don't get that jam sessions artist friends exploration pan poly and happily partnered yeah until your phase runs out and the high runs out <laughs> from all the drugs you're doing uh, married poly moderately sapio what the fuck dude 60s through 90s sci-fi paperbacks art design futurist thought experiments huge bookworm introverted funny and weird dude look at this hey how you doing Sarah B how you doing see this is how you this is how you remind people of the good old days like you can you can crack away at the lefty armor in these chicks all right hey remember the 60s through 90s when entertainment was actually halfway decent and it wasn't all fucking i mean it was pandery to the left somewhat but nowhere near as much as it is now dude look at that maybe you can wake them up via that just be like hey remember how good entertainment was remember how the media wasn't complete fucking trash you know you can send them down a rabbit hole maybe inadvertently that way because they'll look into maybe some of the things that happened I don't know Nikki Nicole's got, lives in Grafton metal, punk, emo, ska, EDM dude I can rock out to that all things 420 stay weird dude what if what if you could find people that were like this but non-leftist didn't support like arsonists and child molesters and rioters on the left dude <laughs> Cause, I mean that's who they fucking are but I, let's see poly because poly like poly all that crap just it just means that they want to fuck I mean they're just you know creepy hedonists beyond what is normal you know and what come on what are the numbers on like how, how often does this kind of stuff work out poly come on currently has one bf super important do not hey yeah actually that's good that's good advice guys don't say hey you need like a stupid cheesy kind of funny opener one of my favorites is uh hey pizza or tacos or like hey i got a really really deep important question for you and they'll be like oh well what is that and then you go pizza or tacos <coughs> it's stupid it but it's it's universal and uh it probably appeals to a lot of these I, I, I hate to say it, like, these chunkier, like, BLM lefty kind kind of people. Hey, how's it going, Drone Tech? How you doing? Also, if you've read this far, I've been with girls before, but would like to open up a relationship with or without BF. Wow, so she wants to get, uh, she wants to get, uh, you know, she wants to get going. Um, yeah, I mean... That kind of stuff sounds like fun, but like, I guarantee you, again, these people end up on drugs and like suicidal and shit, so. Yeah, F Trump, BLM, wear a mask. Wear a mask for what, dude? It doesn't fucking stop the spread of respiratory illnesses. It just gives you fucking. It gives you fucking concealment when you're shouting this through a mega horn and like burning shit. <laughs> wait, what do you. Wait, wait, wait. You. Dana, 40 years old. Wait. No, it's someone else. These are kind of all out of order. I wonder if I'm, like, going over some of the same ones. Beach days, long walks, all kinds of music, dancing, hot showers, Netflix, food. Days in the park, positive people can make their own good time. Swipe left if you're a Trumper. Oh. You look like Amy Schumer, so I would swipe left anyway. <laughs> I mean, dude, look, come on. That's just a Schoimer. That's an, a Schoimer fucking oinker right there. No. Oh, charmed. <sighs> Pothead mix, BLM, racist swipe left. Yada, yada, yada. What if you could convince someone like this that racism isn't even fucking real? What if you could do that? I mean, I don't even know if you if you could swipe left, uh, homebody. Yeah, aren't we all? And doesn't this COVID new normal race war riot fear based fucking corporate 
terror, doesn't that appeal to the homebodies in all of us? Doesn't it seem a little too convenient that these lefty, crazy, mentally ill, fucking mask-wearing, arsonist homebodies really want us to mask up and stay at home? Own a pet, house sitting biz in three states, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I don't like it. Women should not be starting businesses. There, I said it. They should be at home with the kids. They should be in the fucking garden and in the, you know, they should be in the kitchen cooking dinner. There, I said it. That's where women should be. D. Gulag says some of these chicks are too cute for those ugly opinions, beliefs. Yeah, you're not wrong. You're not entirely wrong. Most, I mean, let's see. I mean, I'm going to be generous and say that half of them are okay looking. But yeah, the the lefty crap just makes it completely insufferable, dude. And I think, again, I've said this in earlier clips or earlier streams. I think that if you're in a major, in Amer if you're in a major American city, most women are like this. And I, I think that I think that's fucking sad, dude. And infuriating. It's it's more for me. It's infuriating. That's how I like to deal with my emotions. Like, I think it's better to get mad than sad, honestly. Because anger can, anger can cloud the mind, as Master Splinter once wisely said. But I think it can also empower you. <laughs> it really can. Swipe left sounds like a good motto. Yeah, for a lot of these people, a little bit. Uh, new to the area, it's tough to make friends during code, but let's see what happens. Uh, whatever. You're not horrible, I guess, but you're, I, in my opinion, you sport an extremist movement. Uh, Fatih Yalhanna, how you doing? Jackie, what's up? Nicole, army vet, great mom, mentally healthy, practice gratitude. Please be mentally healthy as well. Fun fact, I once modeled... No Trump fans. Oh, see, everything was good until then. Oh, fuck. Howard the Duck says, It's almost impossible to find a woman here in Chicago who isn't damaged and brainwashed with this crap. Dude, throughout my 20s, I was fucking... I believed in this crap to an extent. Bef I mean, before it was really in the mainstream, like... Um, and before all the sloganeering and hashtagging and, like... Uh, what do you call it? Um... Yeah, before all that got popularized, I was fucking, you know, I was kind of a lefty hanging out in the Portlandia side of town. I was getting pissed off about Republicans. Republicans. Um, hi, Nicole. You pissed off about something. Hi, Gabby. How you doing? Not here for hookups. Don't message first. 510 non smoker one of those I'm one of those liberal Harry Potter nerd massive Boston sports fans plus size girls you've been avoiding <laughs> yeah I hear I hear stories about how Boston is insufferable just like Chicago just like Milwaukee or Twin Cities mini you know Minneapolis St. Paul just like San Francisco you know just like New York like like Brooklyn or Manhattan or whatever like Queens like all that all that is like insufferably just like this, you know, Gabby <laughs> and, and like witch Harry Potter lefty fucking I'm going to put a hex on you if you don't support this. Oh, my God. You're in Montreal. It's the same crap. Yeah, great. Show me your best leftist hippie thirst trap. Simps to the front, six feet tall, ACAV, acquire within. No! Yeah, you you look like... I don't know, man. Maybe back in the 90s you would have been... No, this looks like someone who... <clears throat> excuse me. Wow. This looks like an East Bay punker from like the 90s. Kind of like this kind of style like maybe a grunge punker from Seattle that sort of thing call center manager at a bank oh my god hex the racist oh my god dude <clears throat> everybody who's watching this now has probably had a hex put on them what do you gotta say BLM ACAB cats true crime 90s nostalgia again there you go 90s nostalgia there's your opening 
There's your opening to subtly pepper it and feather it in there. You know what I mean? Just like, yeah, you like the 90s so much. Six, 1960s through 1990s nostalgia rings true with you so much. What do you think? Like, what do you think was lost sometime between 1960, and maybe you know, 1965? <laughs> sometime between then and 1990, what do you think might have been lost? You know, tell me a cute story from when you were a kid. Again, you can tie it in with that. Deal breaker. If you don't understand why uh, masks are vital. <laughs> Please don't HMU if you can't handing with mental health issues and invisible disabilities. I'm rad as heck, but sometimes things can get a little silly. I think that the left recruits for all of this stuff, dude. I really do. I think that they look for people that are out there in kind of space cases or like party time, party people in the cities. You know, they, they recruit for that. People who are a little bit, you know, potentially suffering from mental illness like I really think that dude there's a lot of these holy fuck <laughs> thanks he who shall not be named who uh, generously donated at subscribestar.com slash durst the worst if you too would like me to break something down in a, in a stream throw me nine bucks I will do so on drugs a lot like X says drone tech politics uh, maybe yeah maybe they you know, maybe they drink a lot and maybe snort Adderall. And sometimes smoke weed. And drink like rail booze and like swill beer. And, you know, have bad diets because they live in areas that only have like corner stores. Not only have corner stores, but like they're burnouts. So like walking to the grocery store is like less favorable in lieu of just going to the corner store, getting a frozen pizza, right? And a six pack, you know. So they nurse their hangover with like some coffee and a frozen pizza, and then they start drinking the six pack. Then they start going to the dive bar to see some show or whatever, or hang out with some tattooed barista, right? And then the cycle, the hangover, like hedonism, drug cycle kind of continues. And these, again, the left recruits for these people. Um, the left, I mean, these 501c3s get fat stacks of corporate cash to fucking hire these people to go into cities and recruit mentally ill people to go fucking burn shit. <laughs> like, that's what it is. Again, you learn so much. You, you, you come up, you, you figure out so much just from looking at fucking Tinder profiles. Nicole, kind of, nah. Katie, librarian. Again, so much potential in these people but they have to do all the weird alternative stuff that's, like, expired. Can't be disappointed if you don't have any expectations. Homeowner, mother of cats, if you're lucky, I'll send you cat pictures. Non-smoker, but 420 friendly, liberal, so Trumpers, conservatives need not apply. You know, I agree. I, I Dude, I used to think, and I think a lot of right-wingers and non- and anti-leftists used to think, like, well, they should just be more open-minded to us and our ideas. We should just, like, talk it out. No. 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 Conservatives need to say the same thing. Like, if you're a shitlib, swipe left. Honestly. Like, if you are if you are an arson-supporting, like, genital mutilation, transgender surgery with kids supporting, like, <laughs> BLM riot-supporting, fucking mass immigration-supporting, fucking, um like whatever abortion like enthusiast fucking if you if you're all about that fucking horse shit swipe left dude i think right wingers for one they're going to be less likely to be on these apps in the first place and for two for whatever reason they're not going to own that as heavily or as openly i don't know why maybe we should start though maybe we should uh oxford commas yada 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 board games are better than mind games read every day Art studio, blah, blah, blah. Fucking weirdo, dude. Where's Wal... It's like, where's Waldo meets Freddy Krueger kind of thing. Cuddles, blunts, pancakes, kisses, affection, crafts, cats. A lot of chaos and degeneracy. You know, I can deal with just a, you know, a pinch of chaos and degeneracy. I really can. I, I can. I'm not a total fucking fuddy-duddy here. I'm not 
I don't have a fucking stick up my ass. But dude, please. Like, <laughs> look at these people, man. These people are just like way too I mean like out there bro um re-experiencing life after dropping over 200 pounds damn okay cool that's actually pretty cool please have a bile roll blunts tell me how cute I am don't send anyone yeah 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 blunts are not I mean they they take up too much weed I guess and you probably shouldn't smoke weed ideally but I do <laughs> Anyway, Megan, how you doing? I have a job that makes me happy. Great friends with a fun, loving family. Live life on the go, looking for them to enjoy. I'm a progressive gal, looking forward to 2020 when America's voters get to restore some level of sanity to this world. Does she have any idea what's in store? Someone should someone should show this person. I mean, I wonder if this person's profile is the same. Or if, if they think being forced to wear a fucking face kippa to the grocery store is sane, I don't know. If they think Blake race riots are sane, I don't, I, I don't know. BLM, coffee drinking, podcast listening, bike riding, obsessively knitting, cat and dog owning, plant-based eating, tarot reading, meditating, blah, blah, blah. Uh, because apparently it needs to be said, Trump voters need not swipe right. Yep. I agree. Rody, Rody's. Cam. You look kind of familiar only because, I mean, this is just an archetype. It's like, it's almost like people like this are just poured into a mold at a factory and just pumped out. And that factory is like Disney, Nickelodeon, uh, you know, MTV. Facebook, social media, and of course colleges, and you know, elementary school, middle school, high school, all that. Marcella, Medicare, what are your location settings at to see these psychos? Is this all the Seattle girls? Ah, uh, this is a uh, video request that I'm doing. Somebody generously donated nine bucks at subscribestar dot com slash durst the worst. And they gave me a fucking just archive full of these profiles. <laughs> so it, it probably is a lot of Seattle, Portland, uh, probably, you know, Twin Cities, uh, Chicago, Milwaukee, Madison, uh, you know, uh, yeah, again, Brooklyn, Manhattan, Queens, a lot of that kind of stuff. Wow. Cloud Strife? How you doing? <laughs> Beauty and the what? Beauty and the... Hey, I mean, this looks like theater. That's cool. I mean, that's kind of cool. I dig that. Theater, opera. You know, if COVID race war weren't no thing and they weren't going to make me wear a stupid fucking ninja mask, despite the fact that I am not a ninja, uh, I might go to an opera... LGBTQA plus BLM ACAB goes without saying. If those aren't issues you care about, then keep on moving. Same to you. Hi, we're two alternative... Oh, this is a couple. This isn't theater. I mean, what? it's funny. That's how I perceived it. And in a sense, that is kind of what it is. In a, you know, isn't it? It's all theater of sorts. It's a performance, right? And with social media, they can just perform in any way they want. Go ninja, go ninja, go. That's right, Kevin Spencer. That's right. <laughs> uh, so they're trying to get into some polyamory fucking, uh, what do you call it? Coven or something. Like a coven or a harem or some shit. How you doing, Abigail? Lots of potential. Unless you're like a dude, which you could be. Trump supporters need not apply. There it is. Looking to date and open to what develops. Love getting out into nature, the beach, live music. Courtney. Tell me your best... Mm. 
Oh, my best fart story is when I was in seventh grade, I just straight up ripped asshole into the like lesbian single mom, like seventh grade teacher face. I just ripped fucking ass directly in her face. To this day, I have absolutely fucking no idea why I did that other than I was just a bastard. But uh, <laughs> I did that. That is probably my best fart story. Uh, looking for someone to overthrow the government with. Uh, except, are you going to gasp in horror when Republicans, quote-unquote, storm the Capitol, i.e. get into a couple minor skirmishes with a couple of fucking beat co- uh, riot cops and leave behind, like, 12 water bottles and, like, put their feet up on the desk? Yeah, overthrow the government, except when it's non-leftists, like, LARPing as if they're doing it. <laughs> except for then. Lena, Alexandra, oh, wow. So you look like a fucking Mortal Kombat character in your profile picture. I will swipe left, okay? You know? Cops are bad, fascism is bad, capitalism is bad, synthetic fabrics are bad, nature is good, art is good. <laughs> anti racism is anti white, dude. The Molson Coors shooter <clears throat> in uh, Milwaukee at, at the Miller plant. Um, I actually know somebody who works there who I've never heard mention it. I've heard him talk about, oh, you should mask up. (laughs) But I've never heard about him talk about how an anti-racist activist at the Molson Coors factory shot up a bunch of people in the name of anti-racism. Anti-racism is not good, dude. Not, it's just not. (laughs) It's, it's causing people to just be insanely, unreasonably violent, an anti-intellectual, an anti-white. Uh, Soy Cowboy says, I don't believe those who storm the Capitol or represent the most of us. What do you think? Uh, who gives a fuck? I mean... Like, yeah, it doesn't really... I mean, the, the storming of the Capitol, so-called, was very minor compared to everything we've seen from the left. And it was over, at the very least, I mean, say what you want about it, at the very least, it was over something that has some legitimacy. Every single time the left riots, it's over something that's a lie. So, why not start from that axiom? Why not start from the right isn't anywhere near as violent, barbaric, disgusting, dishonest, sadistic, and wrong? And the left is always those things 100% of the time without exception start there got it good break anyway <clears throat> Jess you're cute but uh, I mean these are the kind of people you swipe right on just because you're like beating off and you're like horny <laughs> honestly to put it as bluntly as humanly possible <laughs> If lost, return to the nearest bookstore, record store, finally known as Adventure Jess. Uh, so she's like sassy and sarcastic. Wittis- yeah, witticisms, laughter, humor, dark, yep, openness. No, she values her being open, but if you're open, then you're in trouble, right? Whoa, how you doing? You look like some sort of like distorted 1990s, like high C commercial advertisement from like 1994 when they first got CG animation like down pat or I don't know I don't know how to describe like what I'm trying to fucking lay out laid back Arab cheek who loves adventures family and God okay based um, even though I'm a secular person that's pretty based uh, good times good food good combos are my favorites Trump or swipe it left okay okay Music, coffee, and travel are life. Looking for the Jim Halpert to my Pam Beasley. Quarantine and chill. It's not quarantine. Walking a coffee, cider, and Bailey's. Cool. It's like they always have me until they put their stupid little fucking slogans and hashtag campaigns. And Monique, how you doing? You have a black 1990s sitcom name. Taking a break to continue safely socially distancing. But again, yeah, you probably, once again, like I said earlier in the stream, you've probably never asked a partner over dating website to take an STD screening, have you? 
but you probably want to socially distance and wear a mask during your first five dates. You know what I mean? <laughs> Believe in BLM and passion about equality. Why? Can I ask again? Again. Fucking... Can I just ask them, like, point blank, again, what has BLM done positively for any human being on this planet? Name one positive thing that organization has done for anyone, and also, what is intrinsically good about equality in and of itself? You know, those are the kind of questions that would basically get you called a bunch of names, or, I don't know, a lot of these women, they say, like, lefty women really just want to be bent over the couch by... They say swipe left if you're a Trump supporter. But it's like if you could fool them into thinking that maybe you're just apolitical or a lefty, but really secretly you're not or something. Secretly they like the vibe of, like, an apolitical but, like, secretly right-wing guy, you know? And that's who they want to be dommed by. <laughs> Uh, but they aren't for equality, they want equity. Uh, whatever, man. That That's... whatever. Neither... that's just nonsense. Neither of those concepts make sense. It's all brain-scrambling nonsense that basically can be loosely translated to you're white and male, give me your money. Right? Like, don't... don't quit... Don't, again, don't argue within the, lex ac the left's axioms. Don't do it. Just don't do it. Just don't... don't argue as if things like equity and equality are good. Because they're not. They're not good in and of themselves. Meritocracy is good. Hierarchy is good. Order is good, right? Those things are good. Don't, don't let the left set the table. Flip the left's table over. Right? Anyway. <clears throat> Teresa, 28, loves dogs, guidance... Oh, God damn it. You should be at home with the kids. Smart, witty, fun, sarcastic, right? Democratic socialist. Don't bother if you're mega. Gross. Guys who are confident enough to message me first are the most sexy. See, this is someone who secretly wants, like, a Chad non-leftist. It's like, don't bother if you're mega, but dude, this is someone who you could just, again, just keep it, keep it on the down low. Don't, obviously, don't even, don't even lead with politics if you're on a date anyway. Just be like, oh yeah, no, oh, I, I voted third party. What? Just say whatever. Just say whatever non-committal thing. Or, oh, I don't pay attention to politics, but sure, whatever. And then change the subject and then just dominate this person. <laughs> just like, I don't know, just like lead, lead the entire interaction. And she'll just, these kind of people are just gonna, I don't know, they're easy. They're stupid and they're, I mean, they're, I mean, they're just... It's, it's easy if you could just sort of silently cringe through it and kind of bite your tongue until it bleeds, basically. <laughs> um, she wants a... <laughs> she wants a right-wing dom daddy. Yeah, that's right. Do you homeschool? Uh, I don't have kids or anything, but I definitely am a proponent of, like, D... Ugh. I'm a proponent of de-emphasizing, like, the old guard, uh, schoolhouse model. I, I think, you know, uh, in encouraging and emphasizing home schools and private schools and stuff like that, that's, um, that's probably preferable to letting people like this, like, what the fuck, dude? Really like clouds and dogs and making out, gross. Teaching your kids all about it. Vegetarian, kinky, hiking, dog mom, stoner, leftist, horror, tattoos. It's gross. It's like 2005 MySpace profile. Copied and pasted into a Tinder profile. <laughs> yeah, okay. FaceTime dates aren't uncommon with my job. See, again, they think that doing a FaceTime date during COVID is important, but they've never asked someone that they've hooked up with on the first Tinder date for a full STD screening. I guarantee it's like it's it, it's the complete ass backwards. 